what are the four deaths that the Bible talks about? Well, the first one is obvious, and we all know of that. It's physical death. The Bible says in James that the spirit without the body is dead. And so when a person's physical body dies, their soul separates from our, their body, and they either go to a place called heaven or they go to a place called hell. That's physical death. And then the scripture talks about spiritual death. Remember when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, God said, In the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And so when they ate the fruit, the forbidden fruit, at that moment they died spiritually on the inside. And every person, every baby that's born into the world is born spiritually dead. That's why Jesus said, In order to go to heaven, you must be born again. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, he said, it says, Ye hath he quickened which were dead in trespasses and sins. Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 3, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And so there's physical death, there's spiritual death that the Bible talks about. And then the Bible talks about a second death, which is the third death that we're going to mention here. And that is this, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 20, it says that death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Okay, the physical death, if a person dies physically, while they are dead spiritually, they will die eternally. And so there's an eternal death that the Bible speaks about. The Bible says that the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night. The scripture says, Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. And then finally, the Bible talks about uh, a death to sin. A death to sin. When a person is outside of Christ, they're dead in trespasses and sins. Spiritually, they're dead. But once they come to Christ, they are dead to sin. Paul asked the question in Romans, he said, Shall we con continue in sin that grace may abound? He said, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So those are the four deaths that the scripture talks about as it relates to human beings. Physical death, it's appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. Spiritual death, that's why we have to be born again. That's how, why we have to be quickened in our spirit. Eternal death, Jesus said, If ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sin. That's an eternal death. And then lastly, those that have come to Christ, and God has transformed them. The Bible says, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The inner man becomes dead to sin. Does that mean that you can't sin anymore? Oh no, you still have your flesh. But you become a new person, a complete new person on the inside. And how does this happen? It happens when you repent of your sins and put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God. When we turn from the darkness of sin and turn to Christ who's the light of the world. At that moment, we pass from death unto life and we become new creatures in Christ. May God help you and empower you to come to Christ today. Thank you for listening.